So what's good guys? Y'all know me, I'm JA. And a lot of you guys have been asking for this video. So it's about time, right? We're gonna be showing you guys my entire Yeezy collection. So make sure y'all subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because the video is coming right up. All right, guys, so I feel like this video is long overdue. Welcome back. Appreciate everybody for checking in, guys. So y'all see all these Yeezys right here, right? Now, what's crazy is, is that Ye designed all of this crazy footwear. And what's so dope is his latest release right here, the Foam Runners, guys, have just taken it to a whole nother level. So let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. This is my first pair of Yeezys that y'all see. So we got the OG Yeezy 750. This is in the chocolate colorway. And this was again, the first Adidas Yeezy release. Um, the first pair of 750s actually debuted in 2015. And I think I picked this pair up in uh, 2016. So you see the box, how big it is that it came with guys. These joints do run slightly big. So I picked these up in a size 10. Normally I go with size 10 and a half to 11 in my Yeezys, but love the chocolate colorway out of all the OG colorways. I probably like the glow in the dark version the best, but because these were the most affordable at the time, I went ahead and went with these. Definitely love the gum bottom on these joints. Definitely a classic and my first pair of Yeezy. So moving right along guys, look at this Yeezy season box right here. So these joints right here are the Yeezy season four combat boots. This is the oil colorway. Um, these joints actually uh, retail at a premium rate, but I was lucky enough to go ahead and cop these on sale. This is a part of the Yeezy season luxury line and I'm still on the hunt for the sand joints in this color. So definitely need to get those guys moving right along. We got more Yeezy Season boots. So again, um, these are not the Adidas version. This is the Season 7 Toupee colorway. Love these joints. Now these joints run super small. So I actually picked these up in a little smaller size, but just a little tip, took out the insoles and they're much more comfortable y'all. So these joints are dope. And then what they did with Adidas is they went ahead and picked up the manufacturing and came out with a couple of colorways. So I went with the soft version on the Yeezy Season Desert Boots. So y'all see the premium box versus the Adidas box. But yeah, definitely a big fan of this uh, colorway. The salt joints are dope. Got a lot of wear on these. And again, they made these run super small. So um, took out the insoles on these joints. And they work out, guys. So that covers my boots. Now we'll go ahead and get right into the Quantums. So we'll kick it off with the OG joints right here. And as y'all know the story about these, Ye teased them for years. And then we finally got them this year, 2020. They debuted during All-Star Weekend. And the crazy story behind this is these did not drop online. This was a in-store release only in Ye's hometown of Chicago. So um, the funny thing is, is I had to secure a pair and I actually ended up buying two pairs. So we got the double up, but I ain't mad at it. It's an iconic silhouette and definitely love these joints. Never will sell the Quantums. And then um, of course we got the second colorway of the Quantum, the Barium. And what's different is, is y'all know the Quantums came in a lifestyle and basketball version. This one seems to just be like a um, hybrid between the performance and lifestyle version with the plastic cage on the side. Um, definitely love these. It takes it to a darker realm, kind of like a brown burgundy type of vibe, but definitely love the OG version much more, but still dope regardless. Definitely curious to see um, what the new Quantum colorways look like coming out in the future. Definitely looking out for those Cadmiel joints uh, for Christmas. So that's the QNTM line. Moving right along, we got the MNVN. And y'all already know, I love the 700s, so. Of the rip here, we got the Phosphor colorway, which is that lime green. Uh, if I'm correct, this is one of the first uh, MNVN samples that we saw in this colorway. We saw Ye uh, and Kim Kardashian rocking those. So these are cool. Um, they're all right. Now, when it comes to MNVN, my favorite, of course, is gonna be this uh, orange one. The orange just pops on these, yo. Uh, love the MNVN, like these are so durable. 
the polyester kind of material, the nylon material that you see on these definitely um, makes it so these joints do not crease at all. And I just love how the 700 hits with that 3M. And then, um, so yeah, moving right along, I actually do not have the black version, thought those were a little too plain, but love the MNBN and the 700 so much that I decided to go ahead and cop the bone release as well. Now these joints are, are decent, um, more neutral of a color. I feel like these are a lot more popular amongst people. And um, definitely love the uh, Infinity Lacing System that we saw, um, you know, debut with the MNBN. So I think those joints are dope. So 700s are five, moving right along. We're gonna get into the 700 V3. So you guys know uh, the first release right here, the Azales. These joints debuted right at the end of 2019. And it's fitting that they dropped at the end of the year because in my opinion, this right here was sneaker of the year. The 700 V3 takes the uh, 700 to a futuristic level, guys. It's got a sleek aerodynamic look, but it's also futuristic. So I'm a huge fan of these. Um, even though they did remove the boost, I feel like these joints are still comfortable, yo. So love the OG colorway. It reminds me of a Yeezy basketball low top version. Had to cop the second version the Alva joints. Now, I'm not even gonna lie, guys, um, the glow in the dark on here, I really don't care too much about. And this color, while I love the 700 V3, this all black joint is a little plain and I feel like I don't wear it as much. So I'm much bigger of a fan of the latest drop. Right here, y'all see the blue joints, the Azrith right here. Now, these are fire, yo. When the, MNV, uh, when the 700 V3 dropped, I was really curious to see what they were gonna do. I felt like it was gonna be tough to come out with different colorways. And I was amazed that they went with this beautiful color of blue, really made these joints pop. And I feel like it fits with the futuristic vibe of the 700 V3. So if I had to rank these joints right now, these would be second out of the uh, 700 V3. So definitely a big fan of the Azure joints. So from the V3 to the V2 guys, those joints debuted right here with the static. So we got the 700 V2 static. And I actually picked this pair up early. This was in my early YouTube days and um, picked these joints up off StockX and managed to get them a couple days um, before the release. So I actually paid $400 to get these early. And what's crazy is, is that now prices for these are like five, $600 or so. so Definitely a dope pickup. Um, out of all the 700s, I probably wear the V2 the least, and these joints haven't gotten much wear. I probably wore these like under 10 times, but these are classic amongst fans, guys. We got next up the Hospital Blue, just another colorway. I pretty much bought almost every 700 V2 colorway to drop this year. These joints were an easy cop on Easy Supply. They sat for a couple of days or whatever, and uh, now you see re retail prices going up way over the... Uh, the retail rate so we got again here the geode and when these joints dropped i did pick these up early as well for youtube and um a funny story about these is they sat as well and this is one of the earlier yeezys that kind of went under retail or what we call like a brick so i think you can still even manage to get these joints right here for uh, under retail which i'm not mad at i feel like this is an underrated colorway uh, definitely love how the 3M hits on these joints right here and they're just super durable as you see these joints right here look almost like DS still to this day and I've worn these so many times so underrated shoe and a favorite amongst the Yeezy enthusiasts so um, let's see what we got we still got some more 700 V2s so it's funny we mentioned the Geo we got the Tefra here which a lot of people say these have a similar vibe but what you'll notice in the detail is the materials are different guys on these and then on um, the 3m hits a lot harder on the geo versus the tefra but it's still a cool colorway regardless the light upper right here gives it a little more versatility so just another cool colorway to play with but i feel like if you own both it might be a little unnecessary and then the last 700 v2 that i got here in my collection we got the banta which is a fan favorite most people will say this is the second best after the OG static joints. And these are dope. We've seen Ye rocking these all the time. So just another iconic Yeezy. This one um, actually features more of a all suede material upper. Um, not as much 3M like some of the other joints, but again, really dope shoe. 
So moving right along, we're now into the 700 V1. So we got to kick it off with the OGs, the Wave Runners, iconic guys. Y'all already know the story behind these. When Ye first dropped these, uh, people were kind of not feeling them as much, yo. It took a little time. They actually originally dropped these as a pre-order months in advance before the release. Um, I actually saw the pre-order. It didn't sell out instantly, but I actually didn't didn't cop on the pre-order. So when these first dropped, re uh, resale prices were over like a thousand dollars, and then they've re-released them over the years so many times but it still holds that resale value. And I feel like this is probably, if I had to pick one Yeezy, this actually might be my favorite of all time. So got a few of the 700 V1s in the collection. Of course, the second colorway that dropped for those joints is the uh, mob that you guys see right here. And this is actually the first Yeezy that we would say bricked. Cause this joint right here sat on Yeezy supply for a couple of days, similar to like the Geos, yo. I don't know what it is because I was anticipating this colorway so much. I love these joints, wore them so many times. And this is again, one of those Yeezys that just holds the test of time and is super durable in any condition. It also introduced the, um, the little extra straps right here on the tongue. So just an upgrade, as y'all know, Ye likes to upgrade his shoes over time. And then we've got, of course, the analog, which are super underrated. This is like a Yeezy Air Force One, being that it's a primarily all white shoe. You could wear this joint with anything, guys. I love it. But it's not just simply a white shoe. It's got different tones of creams, off whites, light gray going through it, which gives it that versatility. And then you got that dark bottom, which I'm a huge, huge fan of. And then my last 700 V1 in the collection is the Yeezy 700 V1 Carbon Blue, which a lot of people think this is the second best um, 700 V1. Definitely love the tones of blue going through this here. Y'all see it, guys. It's just a beautiful shoe. I love the classic silhouette of the 700 V1. And then you got the little orange that just really pops and uh, kind of like a gum bottom there on the bottom. So this shoe right here is absolutely crazy. Love these joints right here. So from the 700, I guess we're gonna just keep going down in numbers. So next up, we got the 500. So my 500 collection is kind of light, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but we'll kick it off with the blush joints right here. Pick these joints up off StockX. Wasn't able to actually cop these joints for retail. These joints retail at, um, I think, what, 200 for the 500? And I think I picked these up about a week after the release. Back then, um, for like probably around like 220, 240. It was like 20, 40 bucks over retail. People weren't feeling them as much, but as y'all see, these joints have just shot up in price. So definitely got a lot of wear on these. Right here, this is like kind of a shoe that I feel like you just gets more character the more you wear it and the dirtier it gets. So love the suede on those joints. Had to pick up the black version, the utility black. It's kind of like an ash charcoal gray version of these. And um, these sat as well on Yeezy Supply. So shout out to everybody that was able to cop these joints for retail. They actually shot up um, to like double the price within like four months after the release. And then the only 500 high in the collection, y'all see it right here. Salute to my boy, Prince Mark, the 500 King. Not too much to say about these. Definitely feel like this joint is better than the slate. So these are cool or whatever. Not one that I've actually worn yet. But maybe that'll change in the future. So from the 500 on to the 380. So the Yeezy 380 has an interesting story because it was originally supposed to replace the 350 V2, but at a last minute decision, they decided to change the name to the 380. So they debuted with the Alien colorway right here, which is dope. And I feel like they have yet to release a colorway to top these joints right here. So y'all see them. Just a beautiful shoe overall. Pass on the Mist, wasn't feeling that colorway too much, but these blue old joints are decent. So pick these up in the collection. This is a newer Yeezy release. These were an easy cop. If you wanted them, you could have got them. They dropped in a reflective version as well. And uh, look out for those pepper joints dropping soon. Those are real fire. So now we're gonna take it to the Yeezy 350. So we got the Yeezy 350 V2. Unfortunately, guys, I do not have any 350 V1s in the collection. Couldn't afford those at the time. But um, the Yeezy 350 V2 right here, these are the copper joints, guys. And this is my second pair of Yeezys that I ever bought. Um, back in the day, I actually sold a lot of my Jordan collection 
and went ahead and used that money towards copying my first couple of pairs of Yeezy. So funny story about these is I bought these joints on StockX. I actually paid $500 for these and at the time that was like one of the most money I ever paid for a pair of shoes. So definitely holds a lot of value to me guys here. Yeah, these released originally in a three pack, um, a green pair, that um, red stripe pair as well. So because these again were like the cheapest one out the pack, I went ahead and went with these. And I know these go for a crazy amount of resale now, but they just kind of became a gym shoe for me. So moving along with the 350s, we got the Zebras. And some might say this is one of the most iconic 350 V2s. They dropped these joints like five times and I guess they're dropping them again this Christmas. When these first um, hit the market, they were so limited that resale prices were like $1,500. And then some people paid that and then you see over time, like these joints still hold their value though. But definitely, um, much lower but yeah these are dope guys this is actually the original version the first ones they dropped so definitely love these we'll never sell these joints right here and they came with the frozen yellows aka some people call these the p bros and um yeah these joints are cool i feel like when these first dropped everybody hated these they were calling them like the mcchickens or whatever like that but over time these have become an iconic um easy actually so it still features that same print that you see on the zebra haven't gotten much wear out of these as you see as well but Definitely a dope shoe. Um, so I feel like this is an iconic colorway as well. So here we got the Yay Chills. This is my beater right here. These are dope though. I, I was anticipating these joints a lot before they came out. And then when I actually saw them in person, I felt like they didn't really give me that same feeling, but they're cool or whatever. So just a great beater or whatever. Another 350 V2. Again, we got, these joints are actually dropped this year. So these are the Sulfur, still DS. Got another pair of DS, the Desert Sage right here. Again, I'm not too excited about the 350s, so next time these might not be in the collection video. Now these right here, um, these are fire though. Got the glow in the dark. So this was the first Yeezy um, actually for the 350 V2 that did glow in the dark. So these are forever dope. Um, a lot of resale value on these joints. Pick these up early as well for a uh, early Yeezy review. And then the last one we got is the Citroen, which is just another beater here. So not too much to say. Now, with the Yeezy line, guys, um, Ye did take some risks. He did um, bring out a old silhouette out the vault right here. So the power phase, and y'all see it. These actually are the only Yeezy that comes with this blue box right here. So yeah, so you got the Yeezy power phases. Now these joints, when they first dropped, were so limited that resale on this shoe, if you can believe it, was over $1,000. But then as they dropped, in a more massive release, you guys seen the price actually go down. But yeah, still love these joints to this day. Calabasas, just a clean all leather shoe. And then they came with the suede version in three different colors. So this is a simple brown joint right here. Now, um, next up, the last couple that we got here are the Yeezy slides. So the slides are real funny because when these joints first dropped, yo, there was so many memes. Everybody was making fun of these joints right here. And they've now become like a mainstream shoe. So you'll see all kind of women rocking these, dudes, kids. It's just funny that people weren't feeling these at first. And then over time, once they got used to them, now these sell out instantly. And it's kind of funny because that's a trend with the Yeezy brand. As you notice me saying throughout this video, a lot of these shoes and these models, when they first debuted, they got a lot of hate. People weren't ready for them. But that's one thing that I love about the Yeezy brand. Instead of retroing old silhouettes over and over again, they're bringing something new to the table. So forever, I, I'm definitely gonna be a fan. And not only that, but I do look forward to the future of the brand. 2020 has been crazy. And the future 2021 is gonna be even crazier, y'all. Oh God, bro. So yeah, guys, appreciate y'all for checking in with me for today's video. You guys see my Yeezy collection. We'll do an update sometime next year guys to show you guys and i'll probably sell a lot of these joints too because if i'm not wearing them i feel like what's the point of them just sitting around so i'm looking forward to all the new models and everything again thank you guys so much stay safe stay blessed and i am out y'all